Now, the Fox 61 Weather Watch with Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank. On the special, we were talking a lot about hurricane season, which, as we mentioned, starts today. But you might be thinking, oh, isn't it later on? Even though it begins today, the activity really doesn't start to ramp up until we move through later July, August. And it peaks heading into the middle of September, but the season goes all the way through November 30th. So this is the start of hurricane season, but it's also the beginning of June. Meteorological summer starts today, and it's one of the warmest months of the year. The average high temperature today in the mid 70s, but by the end of the month, we are up into the middle 80s. We don't gain a ton of daylight this month. We've been doing that already over the course of the last couple of months. We gain daylight all the way up through the summer solstice, and then after that, we start to lose daylight, but we don't have to talk about that yet. We've got lots of time before that happens. The hottest temperature that we have ever had this month in the triple digits, the coolest temperature in the 30s, and the most rain no thank you this is 14 inches that was back in 1982 so how are things shaping up in the coming days we have another hot day tomorrow with temperatures in the upper 80s to low 90s for much of the state even 80s down towards much of the connecticut shoreline but after a hot start to the month temperatures are going to dramatically drop between friday and saturday and it looks like temperatures will stay near or even below average as we head through much of next week. But things are looking better for the weekend forecast than we were thinking yesterday. Low temperatures tonight falling back into the upper 50s to right around 60 degrees. If you're kind of on the fence about leaving the window open or shutting it and turning the AC on, obviously everybody has their own personal preference, but I just wanted to make you aware that temperatures will be a lot milder than they have been the last few nights and following mornings. Here is the daily record high temperature that we are forecasting will go down tomorrow 91 that was set back in 1989. I don't think we have any shot at breaking this record along the shoreline though. We would need a strong westerly or northwesterly wind to do that and we won't have one in place. High temperatures in the upper 80s to low 90s tomorrow and again 80s for much of the shoreline although a bit cooler in southeastern Connecticut. So much of the day will be dry but as we head through the afternoon there will be a rising likelihood for a scattered shower or thunderstorm and some of these storms could contain locally heavy rainfall, rumbles of thunder, maybe some small hail. And there is a low risk for an isolated severe storm with strong gusty winds. So we'll be watching that. Otherwise, things are looking up heading into the weekend. It will be cooler. We'll see some scattered showers possible into Saturday morning, but we dry things out heading into the afternoon. It's mostly cloudy, but not as bad in the afternoon on Saturday. And with rain nearby, it may just miss us on Sunday. If you're going to Boston, you have a higher likelihood of seeing some of that rain. The storm lurks nearby Monday and Tuesday, and it may come back to visit us. But for now, we are trending drier and a bit warmer for Sunday. Jen.